Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to identify fractions on a number line. We will go through some examples together, and then we will end with some practice problems. Let's jump into number one, where we need to figure out the fraction being represented on that number line. Now notice, we have zero and one here. So a distance from zero to one. We can think about this like one whole. And we can see that the green point marking our fraction is in between zero and one. So we don't quite have one. We have part of that distance, part of that whole. This is going to be a fraction. The first thing that we need to do is see how many equal parts, equal lengths, the distance between zero and one has been divided into. This is going to be our denominator. We have one equal part, two equal parts, three equal parts, four equal parts. This tells us we have fourths. This is one fourth of the distance between zero and one. This is one fourth, this is one fourth, and this is one fourth. Each equal part is one fourth of the whole. So again, our denominator is going to be the total number of equal parts between zero and one. So four is our denominator. Now we need to figure out our numerator. That's going to be the number of equal parts the point is from zero. So going from zero here, we are one, two, three equal parts away from zero. So three is our numerator. Our fraction is three fourths. And looking at the number line, this makes sense. One whole is divided into four total equal parts, equal lengths. And the point is three out of the four total parts away from zero. So to wrap up number one and help our understanding of fractions and number lines, let's label everything on this number line. We start with zero, which is just zero fourths, zero out of the four equal parts. Then going from zero to the first tick mark, that's one fourth, one out of the four equal parts, or think one fourth of the distance from zero to one. Then from zero to the second tick mark is two fourths, two equal parts out of four, or think two fourths of the distance from zero to one. Then we have three fourths, which is labeled, and that was our fraction for number one. So three equal parts out of four, or think three fourths of the distance from zero to one. And then lastly, we have four fourths, four out of the four equal parts, which is just one whole, that full distance to one. Let's move on to number two. We will start with the denominator. So we need the total number of equal parts between zero and one. We have one equal part right here and two equal parts right here. So two is our denominator. Now we count the number of equal parts the point is from zero. Well, one. So one is our numerator. Our fraction for number two, one half. And we can see that the point is halfway in between zero and one. So this makes sense. Let's move on to number three, and we will start with the denominator. How many total equal parts has the distance between zero and one been divided into? Well, one equal part, two equal parts, three equal parts, four equal parts, five equal parts. So we have fifths here. Each part is one fifth of the whole. Our denominator here is five. Now for the numerator. So how many equal parts is the point away from zero? One, two equal parts. So two is our numerator. Our fraction for number three, two fifths. And let's label the rest of this number line as well. So we start with zero, zero fifths. Then we have one fifth, 
then two fifths, then three fifths, then four fifths, and then five fifths is one whole. Lastly, let's take a look at number four and we will start with the denominator. So how many total equal parts has the distance between zero and one been divided into? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight is our denominator. We have eighths here. Each part is one eighth of the whole. Now for the numerator. So how many equal parts is the point away from zero? One, two, three, four, five. So five is our numerator. This number line represents five eighths. And we might as well label the rest of the number line here. So we start with zero, zero eighths. Then we have one eighth two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and then eight eighths is one whole. So now that we've gone through some examples together, it's time for you to try some practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. Write the fraction that each number line shows. I'll give you two minutes and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start. Okay, so that's two minutes. Let's take a look at the answers. For number one, we have one third. For number two, we have four sixths. For number three, one fourth. For number four, three eighths. For number five, six eighths. And lastly, for number six, four fifths. So there you have it. There's how to identify fractions on a number line. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.